given that m equal to 4n over n minus 5, make n subject of the formula. Make n subject of the formula. So now, you have to copy this equation. m equal to 4n over n minus 5. So in this equation, they want us to make n subject of the equation. So you have to balance up the equation by introducing denominator 1, then you cross multiply. After doing that, then you multiply. So m times n, it will be m n, then m times negative 5, it's negative 5 m, which is equal to 1 times 4 n, it's 4 n. So now after multiplying the terms, you have to group now the terms that contains n, since we are making n subject of the formula. So we have m, n, this is positive 4 n, when it crosses equal sign, it will become negative 4 n, which is equal to positive 5 m. So now at this point in time, you have to factorize m, n, because it is what you are making a subject. So n out, then you remain with the m minus 4, which is equal to 5 m. Then at this stage, you have to divide both sides by a minus 4, then a minus 4. So that a minus 4, a minus 4 can cancel, then it will be n equal to 5 m over a minus 4. So this is where it should end. As for question 2, which came in 2016, given that x equal to given that x equal to w plus 3 over 2 minus w, make w the subject of the formula. So it is x equal to w plus 3 over 2 minus w. So in this question, they want us to make w subject of the formula. Same procedure, we shall balance up the equation and we cross multiply. So this one now will be x times 2, which is 2x then x times negative w, it's negative x w. 1 times w plus 3, which is equal to w plus 3. So now we have to collect the terms that contains w because it is the one we are making subject. So this one will be 2x minus 3. So this will come to 2x, which will become negative, which is equal to w, then wx or xw plus equal sign, which will become plus wx. So at this stage, we have to factorize w, so it will be 2x minus 3, which is equal to w out, then we remain with 1 plus x. So now to make w subject of the formula, you have to divide both sides of the equation by 1 plus x. 1 plus x. Then you cancel 1 plus x, 1 plus x. So it will be w equal to 
2x minus 3 over 1 plus x as the final answer. So you have to make sure that in your final answer, you should not have w to the other side. You should make sure that w is being eliminated. If there are questions, you are free to ask. Thank you.